Now we'll take up the features of tax structure in India. India is a big country, but when it comes to revenue, only 17% of the national income constitutes of income earned from revenue. Only 17% of the national income comes from revenue. Tax revenue collected though has increased many folds in the last six decades. It was like 480 crores during 50s and now it has increased many folds. The share of direct taxes to indirect taxes is 38 or 39 to 61%. Earlier in 1950s it was the proportion of direct to indirect tax was 40 to 60 but in the mid 80s the proportion came down to 20 to 80. That is the tax that were collected 20% of it came from direct taxes and 80% came from indirect taxes which only tell that the prices were so high that the indirect taxes were so much. That is the inflationary conditions prevailed in our country at that time. The strange thing is that we are a big country of a population of 120 crores but only 3% of the population pays income, pays tax or pays income tax. Total tax revenue since we have talked that tax is an, is an income revenue is a form of revenue for the government and it is by that money that the government fulfills its social obligations and it is quite insufficient to meet the requirements. Structure of tax has undergone a lot of change in the previous six decades. Earlier, excise duty was the main earner, but now corporation tax provides nearly 34.4% of the total tax, which shows that the corporate sector has grown over the years. Next is the personal income tax. 19% of the income comes from the income tax. Excise still contributes around 17%. Earlier it was more than 50. It was nearly 56% earlier. And service tax, though 60% of the GDP constitutes of service, but still service tax gives only 12.8% revenue. Direct taxes are progressive in nature. As we know, as income increases, they increase. But indirect taxes are differential in nature. That is, they are up for luxury items and they are low for necessary items. The most amazing thing is that agriculture is the main occupation of the people of a country, but still agriculture income is exempted from income tax, which is a major loss to the kitty of the government.